All right, so I need to draw a scatter plot here uh, of this information for problem number 17 on page 542. And since I have the calories, the amount of calories dependent on the amount of fat in each one of these muffins, um, I need to basically choose an appropriate scale. And since my bottom scale here has uh, 24 sections here, and my highest uh, value goes up to 23. I can make each one of these one. So I can start here at zero. Um, and then I won't have to write them all out, but I'll do every two. Oops, that's all right. Can't count that. All right, and then my vertical scale, um, I've got basically between, I want to get between 200 and 500. If I make my bottom one 200 here, uh, if I go 200 to 500, uh, which is a, a difference of 300, if I divide 300 uh, by the 13 squares that I have, I get around 23. So if I go 25 squares a point of uh, a value of 25 for each square because I want something bigger than 23. I get 25, 50, 75, and then I'll put in 300, and then every 4, 1, 2, 3, 400, 1, 2, 3, 500, and I could put in, in here the 450, 350, and 250. This will be, uh, now I'm ready to plot the points. So I'm going to stop the stop this, plot the points, and then continue recording. So now I have to draw a best fit line, and I'm going to ignore this one point down here. Uh, that's uh, nine grams of fat, and uh, because it sort of doesn't really fit in with the other one. But the, if I look at all the other points here, I can get a pretty straight line. And now I'm just going to draw what I think is the best fit line in here. It has quite a few points above it and quite a few points below it. And now I need to find uh, an equation for this line. It's going up, so I know I'm going to have a positive slope. There is a positive relationship here. Uh, that answers uh, number 18. Uh, and now I need to come up with the equation of this. And in order to do that, I basically all I need is the y-intercept and the slope. Well, to start off the y-intercept, if I look right here, this line crosses. Uh, this is about 225 around. Maybe around 230 is my y-intercept. So I have a y-intercept of around 230. So I'm going to write that in, which means it's going to my graph definitely goes through the point 0, 230. And now I just need one other point to find the slope. So now to find one more point, I basically look back on the graph and find an easy point that's nowhere near my y-intercept. And when I look up here, there's a point that crosses at the crosshairs here, right at 14 uh, grams of fat and at 400 calories. So I'm just going to write that point down here as my second point. So now I'm pretty much done with the graph of everything that I need for this problem. Uh, and now I just have to work out the equation here. I have the y-intercept, and I have a couple of points that are going to help me find the slope. So if you remember, in order to find the slope, we basically do the second y minus the first y and the second x minus the first x and then we can make our calculations. Once I'm done calculating my slope then all I need to do is throw it into an equation because I know my y-intercept, I know my slope, I throw it into an equation, I have y equals to whatever my slope is here which is in this case 85 over 7 times x plus my y-intercept, which is 230. And so that's my equation. Uh, now, the last problem asked me to find out uh, how many uh, uh, calories, uh, sorry, how many grams of fat that I think a, uh, using this equation to predict uh, how many grams of fat something that was 350 calories would be. Well, 350 in this case is the y. So I'm going to plug this in the, the 350 into the y. And now I basically have to 
solve for x. So how is x not by itself? It's being multiplied here by the slope, and it's adding the y-intercept. So the first thing I'm going to do is to subtract the y-intercept. And now I need how is x not by itself? It's being multiplied by this fraction. So what do I need to do? I need to divide by that fraction, or in other words, multiply by its reciprocal. And do that to both sides here. So in other words, I'm going to have uh, the 7 over 85 times 120 over 1. And I'm going to use my calculator to do the, f the final calculations for this. So now that I have my uh, calculations made, I simply uh, divided the 840 divided by 85 to get 9.88. And since this is approximate, that's approximately 10 grams of fat uh, that I would expect a, uh, a muffin uh, of 350 calories to have.